I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Monday, October 16th, 2023. I'm Jack, along with the rest of the FTV. Nice job to all the seniors and advisors for putting together a great night for homecoming. Congratulations to the members of the court and the king and queen, Aliana and Tahid. Congratulations to all the juniors who were coded on Friday. Keep up the great work. Seniors, if you would like to get credit for being absent this Thursday during the PSATs, and take advantage of this opportunity being given to instill the value of service to your community. If you are interested in participating in the program, you must complete the form and return your homeroom teachers by today. Get ready for the digital PSAT and MSQT. Here's how it'll work. The digital PSAT and MSQT has two sections, reading and writing and math. It should take you just over two hours to complete, not including breaks. Each section of the test has two parts called modules and each module is timed separately. You can move back and forth between questions in a module and review your answers until time expires. There will be a break between sections. During the test, you'll have access to a set of tools. On all math questions, you'll find a reference sheet and a calculator. You can also bring in a proof calculator. Use the annotation tool to highlight text or leave yourself a note. On multiple choice questions, if you think an answer option is wrong, you can cross it out. And you can mark for review any questions you want to come back to later. Zoom in and out using keyboard shortcuts on laptops or by pinching on tablets. If you have a problem during the test, click the help icon for troubleshooting tips. And you can always raise your hand to ask the proctor for help too. When the test is over, your answers will be submitted automatically. Wait until you see the congratulations screen to close your device. In sports from last week, Girls Soccer lost their game against Holy Spirit but had some great goals. Alyssa Eyeside to Gabby Dittis, Gabby Dittis to Alyssa Eyeside, and Becca Badger to Gabby Dittis. Soccer will have their senior game tomorrow. Six seniors are being celebrated. Gabby Dittis, Rebecca Badger, Alyssa Eyeside, Ashley Salcedo, Mia Salcedo, and Madison Seelman. Kickoff is at 4 p.m. on the turf. And in tennis against Bridgeton, Samantha McDowell and Bindia Dave did well in singles, while Trinity Brown and Gracie Sykes did well in doubles. They beat Bridgeton 3-2. Nice job. All things, big or small, can become best of friends. That's what Milo, a two-year-old Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, showed the world. Milo has always been gentle-natured and loving towards all living things, which led to a heartwarming story of how a dog became the friend of butterflies. It all started when Jennifer Bennett, his owner, started a garden. She explained that her plot of land had all kinds of beautiful fruits, vegetables, and flowers. To help their garden thrive, she started raising monarch butterflies. Milo has always been beside her throughout the entire gardening process. He was accustomed to sights, sounds, and squirms around the garden. So when their place became a haven for butterflies, Milo quickly became the insect's favorite visitor. Milo loves to watch all the butterflies fly around. The butterflies have come to be pretty fond of Milo too, and often land on him to hang out for a while. Whenever they do, he's always incredibly gentle and lets them perch on him for as long as they'd like. You can follow Milo on social media. But that this Friday is Pink Day in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Make sure to wear your pink. In honor of that, today field hockey game is having their pink fundraiser game at 4 p.m. Field hockey is having a pink game on October 16th at 4 p.m. There will be snacks and merchandise at the game and all money raised will go to the American Cancer Society. Today is Boss's Day or Boss Appreciation Day, which is a day dedicated to showing your boss how much you appreciate them. That's it for today. So for everyone here, have a great day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.